I'm not where I'm supposed to be But there's so much noise around So much noise around Constantly fighting for space I wanna be empty Be empty Be empty Hi Cancerians, welcome to my channel. We're doing your reading. Ooh, what do we have here? <laughs> I don't know, you tell me. <laughs> so we're gonna be doing a reading. Something is flashing here, that's my Instagram. Um, also, if you are, how to say this? Um, if you are into tarot and you need some guidance, if you follow me on Instagram, I do read there, okay? And then um, there's daily uploads in IGTV. And if you put in the comments, I do random pick on who I will read for also. Okay, how's about that? Okay, this is based on Vedic idea astrology, not Western. Um, we're going to be using this tarot deck. It's in the description box. All tarot deck that I use is going to be there. Mm -hmm. So, let's see here. I changed the position, considering, so that my shoulder is not hurting. But it still hurts. Okay. Here we go. There I was an angle. Here I'm in front. I don't know. Okay. <laughs> Here we go. Mm -hmm. I already told you about the Cancer, Sun, Moon, Ascendant, Jupiter, and Venus in the past two weeks. So just check that out. Here we go. Hermit card. Lonely. <laughs> Someone is feeling lonely. Virgo energy. Lonely and what about me? Yeah. That's that one. That's a, that's a hermit. Okay. Goes to a depress depressive state, yes. That's what it's known for. Eight of Cups energy goes to a little bit of a hermit mode. I'm trying to find our purpose. Uh, Trying to heal, because the Virgo natural six out is healer. Um, but considering Mercury is going to go retrograde soon, and your zodiac, okay, in between, it's a Panervasu. You might feel detached. You might feel detached. Because it sits with you, and Mercury is communication. Your sense is just like, why people are not responding? <laughs> why people are not reaching out? Why says me? Because Mars is sleeping. <laughs> Okay. No, no push, you know. It doesn't want to do anything. Okay. If you're dealing with a uh, masculine energy. Alright? Let's see. The Wheel of Fortune! <laughs> I like how I have that tone, right? The Wheel of Fortune! Because <laughs> if we do the Wheel of Fortune, we do time prediction and extended. I will look at the transit. Things are about to go good. It only spins good. That's the thing. The reason why Wheel of Fortune tells time for me, because if this is in a rut right now, then where does it go when I do the prediction? It only goes better. Because that's how life cycle is. Okay. So, you could also be feeling that I got no money. Wheel of Fortune. I lost everything. Right? Where's my jock butt? Where's my Jupiter? Okay. Where's the masculine energy? Jupiter in retrograde, Scorpio. Hmm. You're waiting for things in your life to finally turn around. At some point, faith will be good, Sal. At some point. Because this is putting your faith. Natural ninth house also is faith. Jupiterian. Okay. You can't have faith if Jupiter is in retrograde. Your ninth house is Pisces. Okay. It's testing you 
to the limit, because it's closer to the planet, to Earth, how much faith do you have right now when I have removed everything? Dun, 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 dun. That's that one. How much faith when I'm not my usual self? Let's see. You could have a Gemini in your chart. Because seven of swords. I'm going to pack my bag. I will go. <laughs> this is this one. I feel like Seven of Swords is like a stowaway. <laughs> Where are you going? He's running away. Running away from problems because you feel like the worst just keeps coming. So now you go to your 12th house, escapism. Watch Gemini. You will find out. Okay? That you can't go to your 12th house. No. Watch it. It was good. Because you want to run away, you know. Five of Swords is ego, okay. You see that? Five of Swords is ego. The Two of Swords is a decision. You put down the Two of Swords. I take my ego. I don't want to decide. I don't want to listen to no one. Because Two of Swords, Shravana, Nakshatra, Capricorn, that's your seventh house. I don't want to listen to my partner. I'm done. You tell me. Judgment. Oh, dear Lord. <laughs> you gotta do the right thing. You gotta do what is right, regardless how hard it is. You can't run away. That's not the right thing to do. Because you're telling here, the right thing for me to do is just screw all this. I'm done and I'm gone and I'm escaping. You didn't address the energy. Mm-hmm. Judgment is asking you to do the right thing. If you're waiting for someone to come to come back towards you and they left you, because um, Hermit with the Seven of Swords, that's ghosting, okay? We will see in the extended, of course, of timing for that one. This is reconciliation, yes. Mm -hmm. Let's see. Devil card. Nothing to be scared. That's your seventh house. A betrayal of partner, though. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> because you don't want to listen to them. Mm -mm. I don't want to listen. Mm -mm. I don't want. Mm, no, I'm done. Remember from me, judgment. Things has to move forward and never look back. So do not go back to the same place that ruined the relationship. There was lies before. There was things that you didn't address before that ruined the relationship. Nine of Swords. I know, I know, Sal. I know what happened. I remember it clearly. <laughs> Nine of Swords. I'm stressed. I have anxiety. I don't even know how to sleep. You lay down, you close your eyes. <laughs> I like how bad this is going because remember I told you it has to go down in order for the wheel of fortune to go up. So don't give up yet. I'm telling you. Mm. The more deeper this goes down, the more it's gonna go good. How far you fall is how far you're gonna rise. Ace of Swords. Communication. The truth, the truth that will make all your worries gone. Because you were stressed, you were stressed. It's like, oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. You don't even know, Sal, you don't understand. Well, I do. You got the Ace of Swords, Knight of Swords. You guys were bickering, you guys were fighting, you guys were arguing. That's what happened. Because mm -hmm. you came in strong here. You lash out, they lash out, Knight of Cups. Well, the other person was just being sweet. Like, why are you attacking me? Knight of Cups. What's wrong with you? you know? Three of Cups. What's wrong with you? Why can't we just be happy? Three of Cups. 
That's what the knight is asking. Why can't we just be happy? Why? So I'm going to continue this reading. Link down there in the description box as you have dug yourself already so deep. And I will bring you up like you've never seen before. Oh, you got a good reading last time. So trust me on this one. It's going to go good. I'll see you guys again. Bye, guys. Okay, can see again. So we did the prediction. The prediction is mainly focused on, um, of course, the transit with the Wheel of Fortune. On if you are in the point of trying to prevent the worst of the worst in your relationship, this is what we did. What we answered is like, you know, things that you shouldn't do or they shouldn't do or things that you should avoid to save the energy of the relationship. Okay? It does go better, but you will have to go through so many things that you have to avoid so that you can get to the emperor, which we've seen in the previous reading, right? Because this is a, this, remember, Mercury goes retrograde in your zodiac. So it will be a time of test. Okay? Thank you very much, guys. Next to this is the snippet. The partnership, everything becomes balanced. Don't say anything. Don't do anything. And the sun is here. Do the right thing. Gives you an offering. That